What's up guys, it's Yvonne. In this video I wanted to show you how to identify whether your mail is spam and when you're setting your autoresponders from GetResponse people aren't receiving your email in the first place so how to figure that out, what to do and how to fix it if that is the case, uh, some of the little tips and tricks that you can use and third of all where to go if you're kind of stuck because you can't ask the GetResponse representatives they don't know. Uh, get responses using a third party provider to help them with this. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, I'm going to go to my autoresponders. I'm oh, sorry, not create. Leave. So, uh, I mean, you can pick any one. Say, let's pick the cleanest one and then I'll show you a few more examples. So, let's go here, for example. I'll click edit. So, first of all, let's figure out if people are actually receiving our email and if our email can possibly be identified as spam. Okay. So what I'm going to do when I log in here, and you can see the videos over here where we set up our autoresponders, um, but we're going to go here and we will click on spam score, okay? And as you can see here, our score is 4.8. Seems awesome, right? 4.8 out of 5, perfect. Actually, no. 4.8 out of 5 is horrible. Uh, the higher the score, the worse it is, okay? So you need a really low score, okay? Um, so... It says your email will probably not be recognized as spam, but that's BS. It will most definitely be recognized as spam. Uh, I don't know why it says that. Um, 4.8 is, is almost fine, right? So what we have to do is we have to go down here and we have to see and try to fix these elements. So first of all, as you can see, as you scroll down, it says money back guarantee. So we need to look in here, find where it is. Money back, right? I found it right there. Um, so let's just delete it. Let's remove it. So basically what happens is um, this third-party software, it's, um, it's gathering data from people that are receiving the emails and people that receive the emails and that blacklist certain emails with certain words or phrases, um, Spam Assassin, which is that third-party software, they take that into account and they make uh, they keep records of that, right? So they know that something with money back guarantee doesn't look too good. So as you can see here, we've gained some points back, right? Now we're at only 3.8 out of 5. So we've lost an entire point. That's perfect. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, the other thing says contains a URL listed in the URIBL grade list. So actually, Spam Assassin, which is a third party software, is using another third party software uh, to determine whether the URLs that are listed here. Um, are okay. So there's whitelist, graylist, there's blacklist. Blacklist is very bad. Whitelist is good. Graylist is kind of in between. Uh, people that have their emails on graylist um, or that that have some features enabled. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure as as to the details, but um, they may not receive this email because uh, the, the links here are apparently graylisted by this third third party software. Okay. Um, so maybe you want to take a look at this and see what links you provided. So for this example, because I didn't do this, uh, let me just remove the links. Oh, it doesn't have the links in the first place. That's odd. Okay. So let's see what that gets us now that there's no links. So we're still at 3.8. Um, contains a in URL list in the URIBL gray list. Okay. So... I, I think what that may be is actually the, the email from which it's sent, which is a Gmail, right? Um, that is also possible because I don't see any more URLs here, so I'm not really sure exactly what they're talking about. I'm guessing it has to do with my email because I'm using a Gmail, right, for this test account. Uh, but let's let's see what else we have. So one of the cool things I mentioned earlier, you can do um, a really cool trick is over here. If, 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 if you scroll down, it says body message only has HTML in mind or only has text slash HTML. So people that have um, HTML turned off, they can only read the plain text, right? So they won't be able to see pictures. They won't be able to see links. They do that for safety. They don't want to get spammed. So what we do here is something really easy that gets you a mark. You go to plain text at the bottom. You say HTML to plain. And you wrap long lines because that's the recommended width. You click close and boom, free point for you. So now you're at actually 1.2. So I think that email got removed now. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, no, that's still there. Never mind. Okay, but but we did have a lot of points taken off. Uh, so the other thing is, now I saw weight loss earlier. Let me just, uh, let me save this and go back to this email because I saw weight loss. I put weight loss there on purpose 
So like I mentioned earlier, they take data, right? And um, they, um, this, this third party provider, they, they gather data and they uh, identify the words which people most likely report as spam or blacklist, right? And weight loss is apparently one of them. But in this case, it is not the case. Okay, so because the email is pretty much clean from here on, um, they, they don't, they're not worrying too much about weight loss. So even if you remove weight loss, you're still going to be at 1.1. Uh, so you do have 1.1 points for containing a URL listed in the gray list, which is probably, I'm guessing, Gmail. Um, you have 0.1 for having a DK signature, minus 0.1 for having at least a valid signature. So I'm not sure what this means. So here's the thing. So if you're unsure, I'm going to give you a resource. I'm going to put the website down in the description. It's going to be this website. It's Future Quest. And this thing, it has a lot of um, it has a lot of descriptions for spam assassin and kind of what to do with it. So here, area tested, right? So our problem here was, um, for example, here ADSM custom medium hit and not from mailing list. I have no idea what that means. You cannot ask get response representatives. They don't know. This is spam assassin only. And here it kind of tells you a little bit more detail. So you can have high, low, medium. And it says no valid author signature. ADSB override is custom medium. Now, just to let you know, uh, this is probably, um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting this 1.2 because there's no subscribers on this email, right? This is a test. Um, this is a test get response profile. I'm using this to show you guys stuff. Um, but on my personal emails, I have scores of zero on my spam, and this thing doesn't show up. And I mean, it looks pretty much exactly like this. Like I have, I have text coming down, and I wrapped it, and it's all fine, and I have zero. So I think what this has to do with is just the fact that this isn't maybe this isn't yours because this is a custom template that I used, right? Uh, and that there's no one really on my mailing list, right? So that's I'm I'm I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, so that's about it. I mean, like if, if we go over to this one, for example, we click edit message again, if you want to see if your message goes to spam, you can click next and you can test message spam score. So this one, I just use the template straight out from Compton. Okay. <laughs> straight out from, uh, get response. And here you can see already subjects as weight loss. So as soon as you remove that, you get 1.5 points back. Um, HTML has a low ratio of text to image. Okay, so you have way more pictures than text. It looks spammy. So we should probably either make the picture smaller, as we saw in this video, where we looked at some of the common features, you know, like this, and then scale it, change the size up, um, or we can just add more text, right, to make up for it. Let's see what else we have on the list. So assuming I'm gonna remove weight loss, I'm not gonna waste time going back and just doing that. Um, okay, so there, see, so actually we've already gotten some points back. Um, HTML included. Okay, so again, here, you see this thing. So here's a short little trick. Again, we're going to go to plain text, make it plain. So which means we're going to make it available to people that don't have HTML access for their safety, right? We're going to wrap it. And now our spam score should be lower by 1.2. So there you go. Now it's at two. Okay. So that's basically the process. If you're stuck, I will give you this website to go to in the description. Hopefully it will help you a little bit just to see what's up and which area you should focus on. So for example, here, you know, it says we should focus on for, for that thing I was mentioning about, it says header. So we should probably do make some changes in our header. Okay. So that's about it. I hope I was able to help you. And uh, if, if you find that people are opening your emails or receiving your emails, this could be a reason why. Uh, so make sure you do that that test. And in fact, if you watch some of the uh, affiliate marketers out there that are doing their videos and showing you how they make their autoresponders, they usually they usually write their autoresponders and then they kind of hit enter, right? So that they can write on the next line. And it's it's in part for this reason as well, right? Uh, they don't want to they don't want to make it make the word seem too long and may look spammy. So that's about it. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. Please subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next videos.